basically what we first have is a collapse into disks. And these are rotating disks. And what happens is that you have the formation of these filaments at progressively smaller scales. And this is important because for an object to collapse, it has to get rid of angular momentum and has to transfer angular momentum out of the object. Magnetic fields can do this through these filaments that form at all scales. So we go down in scale from superclusters to clusters to galaxies to molecular clouds, always forming these filaments at smaller and smaller scales until we get to the scale of stars. And again, all of these, uh, <clears throat> all of these objects can only form because the filaments are effectively transferring angular momentum to the surrounding plasma. And this cannot happen with gravity alone, because gravity cannot transfer angular momentum. Magnetic fields can transfer angular momentum. So you have this whole history that is basically formed simply by the interaction of the known laws of gravitation and electromagnetism through um, working on plasmas. Tired of inflation, wars, and inequality caused by the energy crisis? LPP Fusion is developing a solution that could allow everyone to have cheap, clean, off-grid, and sustainable fusion energy. Invest now as we seek to bring this potentially life-changing technology to market. For more information, visit lppfusion.com. Another process that is involved here is the homopolar generator or Faraday disk generator, again, going back 200 years. So when you have an object moving in a magnetic field, it generates currents that move towards the center along the uh, ax uh, perpendicular to the axis and then go out along the axis and complete the circuit uh, at some remote distance. So that's what's creating these inward going sets of filaments. Now I should mention, you do see these filaments in the simulations that use purely gravity. But unfortunately, I have to say, this is totally unphysical. Um, there have been a number of papers that show that the filamentation that's shown in conventional cosmic um, simulations, which ignore the existence of electromagnetism, um, the filamentation is put in by hand. So there's a thing called artificial viscosity, which is an unphysical uh, term, which is put into the algorithms, because if you don't have that artificial viscosity, you don't get filaments and you don't get structure formation. Without, without magnetic fields, you can't get structure formation because you can't get rid of that angular momentum. So unfortunately, all these simulations you see that show these, these webs of filaments forming with only gravitation, those are animations as well. They're not simulations of real physical processes. To get filaments in the real world, you need magnetic fields, which of course we do have.